right back up here at maple motors in hendersonville tennessee and today's test drive is this 1967 plymouth sport fury with a 383 under the hood power steering power brakes we're gonna drive it down the road point out any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here detailed pictures maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping and of course i do this every day so hit subscribe that helps me out and keeps me doing this for you for now it's about that time let's go for a ride of course before we take off we'll look around the interior check everything out place those bets do you think the horn works it's a game we like to play on this channel we've got a nice armrest here seat looks good back seat couple speakers back there package tray is in good shape your headliner is not too bad it's pretty good Go ahead, start her up. So this one starts up easy. We got about almost a quarter tank of gas, showing 89,000 miles. Coming across the dash. Looks pretty good. Try some stuff out like the wipers, they work. Try out um, our blower motor. It's blowing really hard. It feels good. We'll leave it on. I got it on AC. I doubt it works, but we'll see. Radio? Maybe. We'll leave it on a second. No clock's not doing anything. AC's not working. That is hot. We'll turn it off. Turn signals. The left one on the dash is not blinking. The right one on the dash is not blinking, but you can tell they're working around the car by that gauge there all right aftermarket radio below the dash makes sense while well, the, the uh, original radio is not working horn did you place your bats it does work let's shut the door and take off down the road okay we're gonna take off we got old Evan in here gonna be getting some video footage for us because we're going to lunch i don't know where but i know we got to go to the gas station first otherwise you'll be pushing me bro <laughs> <laughs> all right check the brakes before we leave make sure we can stop a little bit of a left pull there somebody put some tape on the steering wheel here must have had a little crack let's get down really smooth going down the road i mean Tight steering, not pulling left or right, it's straight. Speedometer's wrong, because we're not running 55. Kickdown is not hooked up on this one. It does feel pretty good, nice and smooth. You're hitting the brakes again. They're nice and smooth. They got a little bit of a pull to the left there when you hit them. Let's go down New Shackle. We never eat down New Shackle. Plus, they got a gas station over here that has non-ethanol premium fuel. with the premium fuel in this ride and i'll see you in a moment all right about 30 dollars worth of premium gas in this ride right here put it in right here and we'll check that gauge out i'm gonna say it works but that's my guess what do y'all think i mean it cuts off and then it comes up to a quarter tank. If it does work, it should be about a half a tank. We're gonna turn her on. Look at it. 
Just a creeper. It's coming on up. I told you it'd be at half a tank. Let's roll. Okay, heading on back to the lot, and then we're gonna be picking out the flaws. We just went over here to old Music City Diner. Had us some lunch. I'm gonna give her a little gas there. Oh yeah. This one sounds good. All right, let's roll out. I wanna make sure y'all look good. Man, y'all even look like y'all showered today. Nice and clean. Got a good picture here. You wanna know what I'm using? Look below in the description, I got GoPro 8 on my head. And all my gear listed below. As well as these new t-shirts. It's about that time, let's go for a ride on the back. Go check it out under merchandise at maplemotors.com. It's our lucky day, we get to sit at this red light now. I doubt we're next. You know what? We could hit the interstate. It's got a green arrow. <laughs> we never get to hit the interstate. We're gonna go do it. Cranking the window, is it cranking open over there? Nope. <clears throat> it may be glued shut. I've seen them glued shut before. No, nope, that one's working just stiff we'll see what kind of highway gear she's got watch out for the giant piece of wood in the road well got over a little late there lady go and 
mean, it's really smooth going down the interstate like it's in it. It's not bad at all. It does. It feels like we're going down the the lake if it didn't have any waves. <laughs> Imagine traveling in this car back in 67. Back then there weren't even interstates built all over the place, so you'd have to travel back roads. A road trip to Florida would take forever. <laughs> It's actually come down quite a bit here. We've got a good engine temperature. Nice and smooth. You know the speedometer seems pretty correct. We're running about 70. Flowing with traffic easy. You're not going to want to push it too much more, but not for a long period of time at least. Because it doesn't feel like overdrive is going to be on this one for sure. It just doesn't have it. Got good throttle response. shakes, rattles, or rolls. Tell you what, we got a good bump up here we can hit. See, there's a sign for it right here. Just smooth. There's another one right here. Yeah, this one won't be here long at all. Yeah. Groundhogs out in the field. There's always groundhogs out there. Well, we're getting closer to the lot now. And that's where we're going to be picking out the flaws, looking for chips, scratches, rust, dents, whatever else there is to know about this ride. And I do this with every ride so you know what you're getting. So hit subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. And of course, we're going to hit this red light here. I'm not going to waste y'all's time. We're going to skip on over. Guys, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, picking out the flaws here. Let's get up close and personal. Coming around the front bumper on this one, it's got a little bit of pitting. You can see some age. A little hazy on the grill there. Coming down this side, you got a little bubbles, a little hazy, touch up marks. Up and over, you got some chips, a little bubble there. A little scuffs on some of the trim. Cracks in the paint there. Chip at the bottom, chip there, in the middle as well. Little spot here, the 
back there you got some wax it's like uh, a few little dimples in the back too back your midsection light chips chips in the side here as well your door handles got some pitting cracks in the paint chips up top here coming back a little bit of pitting on some of the chrome up top paint is thin right here a hazy here over your front windshield it's got chips mirror light pitting vent window the seal looks good light pitting around the chrome on top there a little hazy paint claws down there below the trim coming down the back you got some thick paint here in the back it's kind of blotchy a little oxidized get around your back window it's in good shape trim looks good we're gonna come up over the back pillar here you can see some sanding marks over the roof down your pillar here looks good coming up to the back here a little bit of pitting on that rear bumper as well tail lights showing signs of age too you can see in your jams back here they're in decent shape your seal could use a little attention down in your trunk here it has been repainted but it is in good shape it looks great see some patches there up in those corners around the back in your package tray trunk lid Coming on down, you can see pitting on the trim around the back. And it shuts very easy. Little spot there. Paint's thin there. Coming on down this side, lower portion. A little hazy on the paint. Hazy through here too, where it's thin. Chips. Chips in the middle of that door. So over here, it's a little hazy in here coming up and over chips there in the front back your midsection little spot there chips in the middle of the door up top here
touch up marks. Thick on the paint here, it looks like it's running. A lot of little paint blemishes on this car. Over your front windshield here. This side's in good shape. I haven't really seen anything major. The seal looks good. Up your pillar. A couple of imperfections there. A little bubbles popping up here on top. Little bubbles popping up here on the back. In this corner as well. Trim looks good around the windows there. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior and we'll get her started up. Door panel on this one is in good shape. The armrest there has a crack in it. The spot sticking out there. Your seal around the door panel looks good too. On the bottom here, decent shape. Can you jams? A little age there on the seat. But overall, it's in good shape. Nice and clean. Cool, you have a book of little information about the car over there that comes with it. That's always nice to have. Motor is nice and quiet. down with this hood a little hazy okay Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video. I'll keep walking around these rides, taking them for test drives so you know exactly what you're getting. Go to maplemotors.com for finance and detailed pictures. And of course, we do this every week. You can look below at cars currently available. It's playlist here on the YouTube channel. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.